Can I ask you something? How much do we really know about Gloria? The exotic stranger who just popped into our lives out of nowhere? I've had my suspicions about her for years. In my country, there's a saying that means love is just around the corner. I come from a neighborhood with a lot of prostitutes. I'm ashamed to admit it, but when I lost one of the big races, I might have hit one of the other swimmers in the leg with a skimmer pole. You Tanya Harding, another girl? No, in Colombia they call it the Gloria Ramirez scene. My mother would have never taken me out for a drink. Why, was she super strict? No, she would never see me as an adult. Except when the police came to the house, then she would be like, Gloria, you go talk to them. Tell them your father was here last night. But unbutton your shirt a little bit first. The travel company needs everybody's driver's license to book the flight. That's where sticky fingers here comes in handy. Everybody has a bad cousin that teaches you a few things, like how to smoke, how to pickpocket, how to hotwire a car, how to put tags in your shoe when you want to throw off a, a lie detector test. Which cousin was this? I am the cousin. Well, you better get used to going there because if I get put into a murder trial, I could be gone for weeks. Maybe I should tell them that I have experience on a firing squad. Why do you say crazy stuff like that? Now, that isn't true, is it? Gloria, I can't believe you don't know how to change a tire. You drove a taxi. Surely you had a flat. I had a lot of flats, but I would reapply my makeup, and I would wait, and then in five minutes, I would have my own pit crew. When Phil told me about this house, I offered to help. Now that Manny's away at college and Joe goes to kindergarten, I have time for one of my old hobbies, confronting the devil in all his forms. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama, you can come and live with us. Whoa, pump the brakes here. Why, do you have a problem with my mother? No, your mother has a problem with me. You think she's helpless. Ask her what's in that box. Is not the family gone? <gasps> oh, my God. A classic raw corniche. I have been in love with this car my whole life. In my village, if you didn't drive one of these, you couldn't call yourself a drug lord. There is a mark of the devil in my family. My great-great-grandfather was given the location of an emerald mine in exchange for his son. There's like paperwork or something that proves this? I won't freak out. Shoot. OK. How many men have you slept with? Eight. Next. Gun to my head, my top three, cheddar, Swiss, Gouda. As someone who has actually had a gun to her head, this is not what they're going to ask about. They say that the day of his daughter's wedding, a great bird came from the sky and snatched him with his claws and took him far, far away. You're aware that a remarkable number of your stories end with a family member being carried off by a giant bird. I only know what I was told, Jay. I'm just saying, after the third time, we might think about moving the party inside. Yeah, and don't worry, she has medical insurance. Yeah, and I, I think we've met our deductible for the year, so you should be good. Yeah. Do you know what a doll is in my village? An apple on a fork. I just want you to listen to my voice and look into my eyes and ask yourself, did this woman made it all the way here from Colombia without knowing some very bad men who would love to do her a favor? I have a small flower on my ankle and a tiny little butterfly on my... Thigh. How high up? Pretty high. Did you do it to look sexy? No, did you do it for a guy? Does Grandpa like it? No, no, and yes. That's gross. Hi, hey, look, this is my work. Well, except that it's turquoise. Oh, and a bra? Do you think the kids in my village have pocket squares? Here we go with the village. I know the feeling. I grew up in a small town myself. We had to bring in a stranger so that the children could learn who not to talk to. You know, I have to say, sometimes your hometown stories sound a little made up. How are you hiding this? Love this. Sold. I didn't close my eyes. It was like being back in my village watching for the marauders. I don't know what's more shocking, you standing watch and knowing the word marauders. Son of a bitch, that is coconuts. I remember you. I was in a beauty pageant. All the other girls for the talent were juggling knives, as they always do. But I wanted to stand out. So I came up with Uncle Grumpy. 
You thought that these were drugs and that they belonged to my cousin? Well, what was I supposed to think? I am sick of this, Jay. You treat my family like they're criminals. Like he will bring $150,000 worth of heroin into this house. How do you know how much What, is... I can know street value? Are you crazy? You don't leave a kid in a car? Why don't you just put a sign on him saying free coyote food? I have never seen anyone so mad. Even the marauders you could have a conversation with. After weeks of rehearsing, I froze and we were speechless. Oh, and you lost. Oh, I won. Imagine this when I was 18. This is how I sealed the deal. <gasps> it's you again. But I shouldn't treat you badly because Papa chose you. It must have been hard for a little girl. When you lose a love like that at such a young age, you spend the rest of your life trying to replace it. Okay. You two are acting like two little boys. So I'm gonna have to handle this, how my mother handled my two brothers. It's either you two work this out, or you kill each other. It was meant for Joe. I worry that he doesn't have your strong conscience. I worry that he has my family genes where we can lie and lie and lie and lie without feeling one ounce of guilt. You, you don't lie to me, though, do you? Never. Using this app, you know, so I'll know what's going on when I go with you to Columbia this summer. You're coming? You've been staring at my family for 12 years. Least I can do is stare at yours for one summer. You're wonderful but no staring and never, ever take the same route twice. Hi, Jay, you're gonna love it. I can't believe that I lived here for five years. Even turning the lights on was a pain. Look at this. <laughs> Keep it down, you bitch! Hi, Mrs. Rivera's still alive. If he's like one from your family, but if he walks in here all easy breezy pretending that he didn't do anything wrong, he's 100% Ramirez. Or whatever our real name is. Gloria adores you. Take the win. You think? Papa was so handsome. Yes! yes.